Hi, I'm Lenny, and in this video, I'm going to review Season 1, Episode 4 of The Twilight Zone, titled The 16mm Shrine, which originally aired on television October 23rd, 1959. This episode opens up with a lady sitting in a dark room, watching films off of a projector, drinking and smoking. We find out that this woman is Barbara Jean Trenton, a former movie star. She's sitting and reliving her former glory days by watching these films and dressing as she was dressed within the movies. Now the thing about Barbara Jean is she was a big movie star during the 1930s. It is now 25 plus years later. So the films that she is watching herself in is from an era long gone. The world of cinema and film is in a different place and Barbara Jean can't accept this. Barbara Jean lives in Beverly Hills in this massive estate and she has a housekeeper named Sally. She goes to answer the door and at the door it's Mr. Daniel Weiss who is Barbara Jean's agent and what he does is he's paying a daily visit. He checks in on Barbara Jean to see how she's doing because she doesn't leave the house. She doesn't interact with anyone. She doesn't go anywhere. Daniel catches up with Barbara Jean in the room that she's always in. He's trying to help her out. Not only is he her agent, but he seems to be a good friend that cares about her well-being and her state of mind. And he's telling her, like, open up the windows, get outside. It's a beautiful day out there. It's a beautiful day out in the world. And Barbara Jean is like, there's nothing out there that interests me. Daniel lets her know that he has some good news for her. He's there to inform her about a meeting at International Picture Studios. They have a meeting with Sal Marty, who is the studio head. He runs the studio. They begin to talk and... Barbara Jean asks Saul, what part does, you know, what part do they have for her? Is What leading role is it going to be? And Saul informs her, it's not a leading role, it's a bit part. And right away, you can see that Barbara Jean kind of gets put on the defensive. And she's like, a bit part for me? I don't do bit parts. So amuse me, entertain me, Saul. What's this bit part? What is it? and he informs her that it's playing a mother of 40 years old. Now, Barbara Jean loses her shit at hearing this because she's like, a 40-year-old mother? I don't play mother. She scoffs at the offer, rejects it kind of crudely, and throws a tantrum. And as she's heading out, she tells Daniel, who's there with her in the meeting, that she would never work for such a tasteless, crude man, such a as Saul, and especially not to play a mother, and how she hated working with him when she was under contract and not going to do so now. And this is where Saul kind of flips his wig, and you can tell that the two have a long history of not liking each other. And he's like, let me tell you something, lady. You may think that you're at the top of the heap, but you are no longer at the top. You are irrelevant. You are an aging broad with a scrapbook. And the only roles that you would get offered from this studio, the only reason that we would be doing it is for charity because you are a charity case. Barbara Jean hears this, it shatters her and she runs out. When she gets back home to her Beverly Hill estate. She tells Daniel that she is no longer leaving her house, that she is going to lock the doors and the windows, that she is going to draw the blinds closed that the outside world is no longer welcome, that she is not letting the outside world in. From now on, everything is about the 1930s inside the house. Daniel, who again is a friend and an agent, informs her that you are living in a graveyard, that everything around you is dead. The friends that you know, that you used to socialize with during your heyday, most of them are either dead or retired, and you're just living in a tomb and he storms out. Within the episode, it looks like it's a good couple days later before we see Daniel again. So Daniel heads over to the mansion, Sally lets him in, and Sally informs Daniel that Barbara Jean has no longer been sleeping in her bed. She no longer leaves the screening room where she watches her films of old, the films that star her. She doesn't eat she doesn't leave the room. Daniel knocks on the door to the screening room. Barbara Jean reluctantly lets him in. And he tells her that an old friend is in town to see her. 
And this is Jerry Herdon, who was in three films with Barbara Jean, someone that she was madly in love with. Jerry's in town, he would love to see her. So Barbara Jean gets the spark of life again. She's like, great, I hope we can do a movie together again. I'm gonna go upstairs and get ready. Daniel brings Jerry Herdon over to meet Barbara. Jerry is very happy to see Barbara again. They haven't seen each other in a very long time. And he is a very old looking man. He's got glasses on, he's got gray hair. Barbara actually mentions, isn't it funny how you picture people and you picture them as how you remember them or how you want to remember them. Barbara's actually disgusted to find out that Jerry is no longer acting, that he owns a chain of grocery stores, and supermarkets in Chicago. She tells Jerry that she wants him out of there to leave. He is not Jerry. You are not the Jerry that I know. And he's like, of course, that was 20 plus years ago. Barbara, I'm not that guy anymore but she kind of flips out and she throws out Jerry and she throws out Daniel. So she goes back into her dark screening room and she begins to watch a movie that she made with Jerry 20 plus years ago. And she's telling Jerry who's up on the screen with her older self, I guess it would be younger self, that there was a man at the house today claiming to be him, claiming to be Jerry. And there's no way that it was him and how she wishes that she could be up on that screen with him right now, how she wishes she could be that Barbara Jean again. A little bit later on in the episode, Sally, the housekeeper, enters the room to bring Barbara Jean some food. She is looking around and you do not see Barbara Jean anywhere within the room itself. She can't fight her. Sally looks up at the screen and whatever she sees up there makes her drop the tray of food that she's carrying and scream. One of those good old fashioned screams. <laughs> Sally calls Daniel who rushes over and Daniel enters the room. He turns on the projector. The projector is playing a film that shows a bunch of Barbara Jean's co-stars coming through the front door of her Beverly Hills estate. Whole bunch of people dressed up in costumes. Daniel realizes that it's Barbara Jean. And Barbara Jean is there with younger Jerry Hurden. And she says, it's wonderful to see everyone, how I missed you. Let's go have a barbecue out by the pool. As Barbara Jean and her friends go to go out the back door to the pool, Daniel yells, Barbara, Barbara, come back, Barbara, stop. Don't go, Barbara. Barbara hears them up within the film. She stops, she turns around, she has like a scarf hanky and she gives it a kiss. And she blows a kiss and throws the scarf down, which lands on the floor within the film. Daniel then goes out to the staircase and he finds the scarf there. The scarf is there, but Barbara is nowhere to be found. He picks up the scarf hanky. He has it in his hand. He smells it and he smiles and he says, to wishes, Barbie, to the ones that come true. And that is the end of the episode. If I was to rate this episode on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the absolute best, I would give this episode a 7. We have now come to the interactive part of this video. If you feel like this video is worthy of a thumbs up, please feel free to do so. And if you enjoyed this video and you want to see others like it, all you have to do is hit the YouTube logo down in the corner and you'll get a notification anytime I upload a new video to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video and thank you for your time. And thank you for giving me the opportunity to talk about these things that I'm passionate about. Greatly appreciate it. Please be safe, be careful, and I'll talk to you soon.